Hey guys, it's Greg. Uh, I said last week when I did the video with Green Lantern that I'd come back this week and do my Iron Man Mark 1 maquette. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, quick look at the box. This is quite an old piece, I think uh, 2008, sometime around there. Uh, quite a nice box. Picture of the statue on each side. And on the back You've got a write-up about Iron Man and the character. Not sure if you can read that with the glare on there, but if you want to read the whole thing, you can pause it. And a back shot of the statue. This is the regular version, which was limited to 1,000 pieces. There was also an exclusive, which come with a switch-out head not sure on the edition size on that. I think it might have been 400, but yeah, don't know. Okay, so that's the box. Let's have a look at this statue. Some people might consider it a grail piece. And it is uh, quite hard to find. And when it comes up for sale, it's normally pretty expensive. I actually had no intention of getting this piece. Um, I've got the Mark 6 and War Machine and I was quite happy just to go with the normal armors because I thought this one wouldn't really fit in but I just happened to be browsing uh, the European eBay sites and I saw this one and it was at such a great price I had to have it you know I thought I'd never be able to afford it I've kind of got a personal limit of £500 on statues I don't want to pay any more than that and to pay that much it has to be something pretty special and I thought this piece went for a lot more than that normally if you see any listings for it it is priced above that but I actually managed to get this from Italy for I think it worked out at £480 shipped so that was a great price. It's actually pretty much exactly the same as what I paid for War Machine. You can just see all the incredible detail they've put into this piece. The arc reactor lights up. I'm not sure how bright it will be. There's a little button there. It's not the best light up feature, but I never have them on anyway, so it's a nice little bonus to have. The battery compartment is actually in here, that's a magnetic cover, so it's quite quite well hidden. But yeah, the detail on this is insane. You've got all these pipes, flame throwers down the side, I think that's what they were. And these like fan belts, they're kind of like a rubber, not rubber, but like a hard plastic material, but as you can see they move. And all the detailing on the wires is just awesome. Look at the different colours on the cables. And all the detail that's gone into all the body panels. Yeah, just incredible. So yeah, really, really chuffed to have got this piece. So that's all three Iron Man pieces, the older pieces, uh, the maquettes that I've got now. Never thought I'd own them, but really chuffed to have them all in my collection. I will probably get a few of the newer pieces that are coming out. Probably the Mark 42 and the Mark II and I've got the Iron Patriot ordered but I've actually got the one from Gentle Giant not the one from Sideshow but I'll see how the Sideshow one turns out I might pick that one up and I could do a comparison video of the two Iron Patriots and keep which one I prefer but yeah look at the detail there just 
although they're sculpted, they look like real cables. Absolutely amazing. And it's a really heavy piece as well. You can definitely tell it's from the older days of Sideshow when they made their pieces solid. But yeah, I just, just love it. Look at all the detail there. And I, I love that, the back panel with the Stark Industries and all the welds on it. Just awesome. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I will get the other two Iron Man pieces and I'll show you how they all look together. Okay, so here they are all on display together and as you can see that just looks amazing. All three really great pieces, I'd highly recommend them all. People say which is your favourite, but I think they're all amazing for different reasons. The Mark VI, I just love the candy apple red paintwork, really nicely done. The War Machine, I just love the, the extra guns he's got and the shoulder cannon. And the Mark I, just the detail on his suit, just incredible. I, I couldn't pick. Well, if I picked one, it would probably be the Mark VI, because that's more iconic Iron Man from the movie. But the other two, just awesome too. Definitely worth tracking down. And don't don't pay crazy prices because I got all of these for under five hundred pound, which is obviously a lot of money. But it's not what some people are charging or asking for on eBay for these pieces. So just be patient, and you should be able to pick them up at a pretty reasonable price. But they are getting more and more sought after, so I wouldn't wait. Try and find them now if you can. Because I'm sure the new pieces won't be up to this standard. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. And I will try and do another one next week. So I'll see you then.